every single time you give a discount i said this on my instagram too you're giving this uh, a portion of your rent or your mortgage you're giving food off of the table to that person you're giving car payments that you have to make in order to get to the location you're giving gas money electricity to daycare fees everything under the sun when you give discounts hey designers welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me justine where all i want to do is inspire the event designer in you so let's get something straight. Why is pricing so difficult? Once you become an entrepreneur, once you become that event designer, pricing should be easy, right? That's a big fat wrong. <laughs> so a lot of common questions I get asked when it comes to pricing your service-based business, pricing your event business, or even as an event designer, how do I do it? Am I charging the right price? How much should I be charging my clients? How do I set my pricing for the service that I want to give my clients without worrying about the competition? If you have these questions going on in your head, you're in the right place where we're going to dive into really how to price your service-based business, aka your event business with your designs. When it comes to pricing your service-based business, the first thing you definitely should consider is how much money is actually coming in and out of your event business. So a big thing when it came to doing a little bit of research into understanding what are the challenges you guys are facing with your event business and it seemed that pricing was one of them. So then when I would get on calls with people and really ask and dive deep into getting to know you guys, something happened and something that was quite alarming. A lot of you do not track your numbers in your business. When you don't track the numbers that are actually coming in and then coming out, you have more of a likelihood to go into the negative when you first start your business. And a lot of you are making those mistakes right now. Be honest. If you don't track your numbers in your business, I want you to like this video. Be honest with me. No judgment. But I know most of you are making this mistake. Another thing you definitely wanted to consider when understanding the money that's coming in and out of your business is what are your monetary goals? What do you have to strive for? Do you know what your annual goal is for how much money you're making or do you and do you know how to reverse engineer that? That is something you can work towards when it comes to pricing. If you don't understand where you're going, you won't know where you're heading towards. You'll just be all over the place. When you understand how much money is coming into your business and going out when you're spending and making money, now you have an, an idea of how to price the designs in your service-based business. But value-based pricing goes outside of your competitors. It goes outside to how you deliver and serve your clients. This helps you stand out from the rest because you're delivering a different type of value than your competitors. You're delivering a different type of value than most people in your industry because you bring something different to the table. That's why it's easier to do value-based pricing to increase your, your price, to increase your profit. Another way to deliver value and your worth to your potential clients, your followers on social media, is to show up and be the expert in the field. Educate your followers, educate your clients. And when you educate and tell them the reasons why you, your value and your opinions matter, you become the expert. And anybody who specializes or is in an expert in a field gets paid more. <laughs> Look at doctors, I talk about this all the time. A general practitioner in the United States will not make more money than a specialized cardiologist. If you specialize in everything, which most people want to do in the event industry, they want to decorate the entire events, but you don't have the team to support you. You don't have people you can depend on and you're probably lowballing yourself with all these stuff that you have to do prior to that event. Instead of doing general things, become the specialist in the event industry. Niche it down and understand what you serve by choosing one design. And when you know your worth and your value, you get results like this. So this is Amber and she was in my last previous video where we discussed her first clip in that video is. So she's like, can you make it bigger? And I'm like, yeah, let me do that. And then she was like, just bill me. She didn't even ask. She's mm -hmm. like. And I was like, you don't want to know how much it's going to be. I mean, in my mind, I'm like, you don't want to know how much it's going to be. So I just made it where it looked good. And she was like, okay. She's like, yeah, just bill me. 
Just make it bigger, whatever you think is going to look best and bill me. And she does a really good job explaining why her value and her worth was a huge mindset shift she had to make in order to charge what she was worth. She was charging way too low. And if you want, go watch that video. I'll leave it in the links down below. It's a really good way to understand what an event designer goes through from charging $85 to a $900 balloon garland. The next thing on how to price your service-based business is you want to take into consideration how your money is managed in your event business. As I had mentioned before, I conduct a lot of coaching calls that I have done in the past and I kind of don't do them anymore because I pretty much know what people need and anytime someone DMs me, I get to learn even more. But the one thing that I noticed that a lot of event designers do when it comes to pricing their designs and pricing their service-based business is they don't really have a good relationship with money. Not tracking your numbers, which is what I mentioned in the beginning of this video, just kind of tells me more than what meets the eye. If you guys have been following me for a while, I shared that I have a bunch of mentors that I've learned from, that I'm still learning from, and one of the things that I get to experience is sitting in front of with six, seven, and eight figure business entrepreneurs and understand that there's a totally different relationship with money when you're at that level versus when you're first starting out. Avoiding looking at the numbers in your business and not looking at your bank account statements and calculating to ensure that you're making a profit in your business is actually having a really bad relationship with money. Now, don't get me wrong, you are still a good person. You just don't have a good relationship with the money that's coming into your business. And I can kind of conclude that you probably don't have a relationship with money when it comes to your personal accounts. Usually people have poor money management skills. It's because nobody taught you how to save, how to manage your money, how to really understand the way it works. And so an action step, the first action step to really building wealth or how to price your design is know what money is coming in the door. And if you don't have clients right now and you're really in the beginning stages, I would say look at your bank account anyway, right? Be grateful for the one penny, few cents. If you're in the negative when it comes to your bank account, that's okay too. You know, forgive yourself and change the narrative you have about money. Don't be embarrassed that you don't calculate the numbers. What you've done in the past is in the past, right? What really matters is what actions are you going to take now to change it for the better. And since we're talking about money, another thing you want to consider when it comes to pricing your service-based business is having the money mindset of a CEO. Here's where we get a little deep. When it comes to having a money mindset as a CEO, I want you to know that you deserve an overflow of cash. You deserve to earn all types of money and have so much that you can't even handle in your bank account. You deserve to have lots and lots of money coming into your business and getting clients who love you, who are willing to pay, who are willing to tip you, who will look, giving you an overflow of money and appreciation because you are worthy of that. You deserve all that is good in this world just because of who you are. You have creative gifts and if people contact you wanting to pay for your gifts, it's a good sign to know that you're in the right field, in the right business, and in the right industry. And I want you to understand, just because someone doesn't want to pay your prices doesn't mean you are unworthy of having money in your business. Money is not good and money is not evil. Money is not positive and money is not negative. Now, some bank accounts, you might have negative money, right? Because you're spending money you don't have. But money doesn't have feelings. Like, it doesn't matter who you are in this world. If you're able to tap into the energy of what money is, that's why we call it currency worldwide. It is current. It takes a current. It takes a flow. It takes an energy. Money is just what it is. It's money. And... A big mistake a lot of event designers make when they start their event business is that they feel like they're not worthy of money, which is why you give discounts, which is why you don't charge your worth, and which is why you don't know what your worth is. Because you don't feel like internally you deserve that money. Because if you did, it would be a whole different story. It would be a whole different business. And that's the reason why 
other biz event businesses succeed and while others don't. Other people turn into a huge, successful six, seven figure business while others create a hobby and just never follow through because it's about the internal work that you have going on here and up here. And as a CEO in your business, you have to know you're worth it. And if nobody else tells you, I'm here to tell you you're worth every penny that comes in your way and more. How about that for a lesson? So stop settling for clients who don't want to pay your prices. Now, if you can't get anybody to sell anything that you offer, there might be something that you might have to tweak within your business to attract someone. But most of you are coming onto my channel. Most of you are watching my videos because people have asked you to do certain things that they want for free. You know what? Clients have the right to do whatever they want. They have the right to negotiate. They have the right to ask discounts. That is their right as the consumer and customer for your business. However, when we turn it around on us, it is our right to say no. It is our right to have clear expectations of our price. It is our duty in as a CEO in our business to place boundaries between us and our clients to understand our money is dictated based on our value. You are not stealing from customers. If your heart is in the right place and you're not really doing this for money, which most of you aren't, you are serving your clients. So instead of looking at selling and, oh my goodness, I don't want to charge this much, Justine, take that out of the narrative. Take that negative talk out of your head because as a person who sits on in your business as a CEO, you have to know you're worth it. Because most of you guys subscribe to my channel because you want to serve your clients. But you can't serve them if you're not getting paid properly. How can you survive? Every single time you give a discount, I said this on my Instagram too, you're giving this, uh, a portion of your rent or your mortgage. You're giving food off of the table to that person. You're giving car payments that you have to make in order to get to the location you're giving gas money electricity to daycare fees everything under the sun when you give discounts i want you to tap into understanding that there's clients for everyone there's hey everyone so i wanted to stop my own video because i really wanted to emphasize and hopefully you really understand that there is a client for everyone from walmart to the most expensive brands that we have on in this world there's over 7 billion people that you can attract to your business. I wanted to share a secret guide that I have coached my designers in my program, even in the ones in the workshop, we're going to talk about this, but these are the steps that you really need to take in order to attract your dream clients. And usually a lot of people won't share this information. So if you're interested, I'm going to link it down below. Feel free to download if you haven't done so already, because I kind of featured it in my live stream videos. But yes, download it, utilize it because these steps are the necessary steps that you need to take in order to attract your dream clients. So let's get back to the video. It's all a matter of what you deliver and what you see as value and knowing that you're attracting the right client to your business. If this video resonated with you all, be sure to like it. I hope you guys continue to design your dreams into reality and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. I gotta stop preaching on these platforms. I get so passionate, just such passion in my heart. Charge your words, do it now.